Two black guys. Two black guys. With table talk. Table talk, y'all. <laughs> We're back. And I love it. This is that. One time. For for the one time? For the one time? Ah, <laughs> uh, bro. Crazy this. I like when you do that shit, bro. <laughs> for the one time? Oh, shit. So, we going to kick this one off just like this, man. So, I got a question. Yes, sir. So, th- now, this is an issue that I'm having. So, do you know the Hodges twins? Yeah, I know okay, exactly okay, what you're talking okay, about. Okay. Yeah. okay, so it's been like the last two days because I am the one, I would say, out of us uh-huh. that try to truly see both sides. Truly. You're uh, you're on the verge of being a Black Panther. Okay, I'm... What? Now, nah. now I'm more of a uh, just a straight down the line middle guy. Call me straddling the fence. Fuck it. You're straddling the fence. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Okay. But, so anyway, we all know about the Candace Owens. And you got your people that super left too. Mm-hmm. And so the Hodge twins, right? So I was interested in a lot of the bullshit that, uh, that I've been seeing. And we, so... Regurgitating out their mouth. But go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say it, but... So I was interested in so a person of Caucasian descent mm-hmm. sent me a Hodges twins video. Yeah, I follow their asses for some reason. Do you? Uh, I will not. But so so I watched a few, right? Uh-huh. And I was like, okay. And it got to the point where Esther caught me reading some comments. Cause I try not to be like like you guys. Oh, hold right? on, wait a minute. No, no, listen, listen, okay, listen, okay, listen. All right. So, so I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna read some of these comments because I was interested to see who is a green, like who is a green. So I didn't look at the comments to read them. That that I looked at them to look at the people who was coming. Ninety eight percent of them was Caucasian. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, mm. So I finished up the video, right? The one that I just watched was uh called uh uh, uh Blue Lives Matter. Blue Lives yeah. Matter, right? The color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, so I'm sitting there listening, right? And they're going on talking about how, you know, the dude in Wendy's, he wouldn't have died if he wasn't drunk and stolen the guy Tather and running and pointed it at him. So I was like, okay, all right, okay. Um, I want to know this. Now, this is just a question to you. To you, is a taser a gun? No. Okay, okay. Can it be used as a gun? It's not the significance of a gun. However, a taser can cause some type of, uh, it can have like a. For, yeah, for heart for, especially disease. for people who have heart heart yes, problems. Correct. Which cops, normally they don't have a clue. Yeah. And a dude could have a pacer or anything and he could kill yeah. him. Right? Okay. But, so anyway, so while watching it, they, they going on, they interrupting, talking for one another. Real fruity shit. Right? Yeah. Right? I'm like, y'all niggas ain't funny. <laughs> like, like, seriously. So. Anyway, so I had trouble finishing it, but I did it. Like, because just like we discussed with the Candace Owens stuff, I go and I watch her podcast. Like, your research. like I really want to see where she's coming from because she do have valid points about certain things. I don't like how her big stance on his father's not in the home and that's it because some of us was raised by women and we turned out pretty good. Yes. I'm just saying. But, uh, so... So I finish it, right? Okay. And they're giggling, laughing. And I'm like, so are these dudes comedians? Because I don't know these cats. They always laugh. R- r- yeah. Like, so I'm like, so then they switch up and they start talking shit about Bubba Wallace and the um, the rope. Like, they said. They said it was, yeah, it was equivalent to a, uh, oh, God, I forgot what it was because they said it was so small, but that wasn't, that wasn't the truth. Wasn't the truth. So... I know that before they did their video, they definitely did some kind of research because they came up with the analysis that there was one in every single garage. I was like, and it wasn't. There you go, lying. Like, lying. Uh, And I was like, so there was not one in every garage at all that was even remotely tied up as a noose. And I'm tired of this, bro, because 
you know, we're country boys, yep. right? So I've seen a noose. I've seen multiple noose. Y'all, like, that ain't no easy shit to tie. It's not. It's hard. What? Like, what? It like, ain't sound like you just tie your just, shoes and then, you know, your shoelaces and that's it. Y'all, don't nobody teach the Boy Scouts to tie a damn noose. Like, y'all, y'all, like, it's not easy. I've seen it, and I had my great-grandpa show me how, but I was so little, bro, that I don't even remember, but I remember him doing it. So, that was another lie, where they were partially true and, you know, partially wrong. And then they go on so far, and, and this is where I'm going to end it at. So, they go on so far to talk about how black that they are. So, they was like, Bubba, you about as black as me. Like, basically trying to belittle his blackness, so bro. Were, this was funny, bro. Okay. So, I'm over here like, okay, now I'm trying to equate, where the fuck are you boys from? Like, where are y'all from? So, I do more research. Find out. Hey, they used to live in Virginia. Now they live in Vegas. So now I understand the whole Trump support. Let me argh, argh, Trump, right? Like, okay. So I see it, right? So I'm like, okay. Um, and then I notice everything, every about five minutes is the Democrats. The Democrats. I'm like, all right, okay. Uh, if, if that's your stance, then cool. I mean, like no one's asking you to support the Democrats. No one is asking you to support the Black Lives Movement. But if you're going to come up with things to support your view, speak the truth. Yes. Like, I am, like, so tired of that, bro. Because they go on there, have a few hundred thousand people watch their shit. Because I look. So, and I noticed all these people were white. And all they're saying is the same thing. Man, there should be more guys like you. Yep. Right? So I'm like, you are the reason black people are in the situation that they're in. Sambo. Because if you don't notice, everybody coming on your shit is looking like that's one of the niggers that we need to have. Sambo. That's how they're thinking. Like, they are not, yeah, bro. Like, these people are not like, you know what? We fully agree with him and looking past your color. Because. Bro, they seem to be naive as fuck. Naive as fuck. Both of them look like, you know, the the two guys that were in high school, they were losers. Right? They got a little older, started lifting some weight, got them a little bunny. Feel me? Like, that's what they seem, seem like. I'm not saying that's what they are, but off their personality, that's what I saw. And I only watched three, three of their videos. It was tough. It, it was real tough. Because they're the type of individuals that strictly, bro, strictly only talk about the things that support their view. That's it. And I was like. That's what makes them lopsided. Like, this is horrible. Yeah. Lopsided, one-sided. So, first of all, I want to start off by yeah. saying, well, you know, wave at your folks. Wave yeah, at your man. folks. I will. How y'all doing? Hey, everybody. Lovely. Levi, Unique, Sam, what's up, y'all? Two black guys in table talk. Yep. We live right now. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing over there? So let me start off. Ah, first of all. Yeah. How was your week, man? Good, bro. Good. Good. It was a lot of pain on the finger. I started uh, what they call occupational therapy. Shit hurt. Okay. That shit hurt. But besides that, it was straight, bro. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, good. You healing? Yeah. All right. First, let me say, congratulations. You finally went in the goddamn comments. Yeah. Like yeah. we've been talking about forever. Yes, I and did it. I did it. You did the basic one-on-one research. Basic. That we all did. Yeah, the bare basic. Yeah. You look at their audience. Yeah. I yeah. always look at the audience. Yeah. And I go in and do research, see who I might know, so we can put the ass on blast. <laughs> okay, okay. See, y'all, typically that's what I don't want to do. Like, I'm not trying to, <laughs> trying to really put people on blast. Yes. So, you did that. Congratulations. Welcome to the real world. This is this is yeah. Warfare 101 now. Yes. <laughs> hey, everybody. Second, uh, I'm not really that militant. I'm just... He isn't. I'm not. <laughs> he isn't. But, and third, the noose with Bubba Wallace, it was not in everyone's uh, garage. garage. 
and, and we was, know that it was a it news. came out yes and it was they a made news. they made a point saying the news is the size of a chipmunk or something bro like that. the fbi yeah. The same people that y'all are trying to reference. Like, don't pick and choose what to reference from what they say. Say it all. And on top of that, they were saying that Bubba Wallace should have an apology. He wasn't the one that found it. <laughs> it wasn't. It, he, it wasn't. He, he didn't find it. His crew found it. And they reported it before he even got to him. They were He was told about it. So he was. He said, you know, if that's basically if that's the way it is, you know, I feel bad you know yeah. as anybody should if you if you feel like the kkk is in your neighborhood you would feel worried yes you would feel like oh shit we gotta do something about this asap bro the as Hodge they, twins try to actually make it like someone from his team did it yeah bullshit. that was hilarious bullshit. a black man's team would make a news oh y'all that shit's funny shit and they tried to say all hate crimes 98 percent of them are self-done like, like, like yeah. they aren't Bullshit. real. Bullshit yeah. again. Yeah. So, and then the other one I wanted to address is you said that they were like, you're not full black or whatever. Yes. Bullshit. Yes. So right there, ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to pay close Which attention. Which completely bothered me. That is what we call the Willie Lynch theory. Yeah. So just to give you a quick synopsis. The way the Willie Lynch, you know, a slave owner, boat owner back in the days, they had to figure out ways for slaves to stop running away or being killed. So he came up with a whole, uh, uh, a pretty much a pamphlet on how to control your slaves. So the Willie Lynch theory. Oh, huh? Go, go. Okay, go, the go. Willie Lynch theory, they oh, basically uh, pin. Boy got a question. Oh, okay. Yeah. They basically pin. Old versus young, short versus tall, fat versus skinny, light skin versus dark skin. Yeah. That's how they pit one in, one another against each other. And it's still going on. House nigga versus field nigga. Field nigga, nigga. yeah. So, therefore, your black folks are always battling for the approval of white folks. And we do it to this day, even subconsciously, and we don't even know it half the time. Yeah. So... That's basically what they did, trying to say, hey, hey, Bubba, you shouldn't talk because you're not black enough. Okay. That's BS right there. That's that's pretty much, bro, I could replay it on here and let the people see what I saw, but that's exactly what they did. Now, when you want to talk about speaking facts, that's literally what they did. They try to throw humor into something that's not funny. Like, it's not funny. Feel me? Like, it's different if I went to a comedy show. I expect yes. shit to be funny. But if if you're going to be talking about a serious matter, then you do that. Like, it was kind of like the, uh, I don't know if you ever peeped the uh, Dave Chappelle joint, mm -hmm. the recent one about uh, Floyd. Bro, like the man did oh, a yeah, skit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically, that was legit. Like, there wasn't much humor. Shit, like, like the man was being legit. Like, he was like, welcome. Yeah. And he's a comedian that can be serious. So, hold on, um, real quick. Uh, I I don't know if it, you're talking about my nephew Ellis. If so, hey nephew Ellis. No. If not, if that's one of your friends, Neat. What's up, Ellis? He said, can you say hi to my friend Ellis? He oh. likes y'all live. Hey man. So, no, what's up, man? What's up, hey, man? Ellis? Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it, man. Thank you. So, my boy Espinosa asked, can I ask you, why is it okay for black people to say the n n word? It was a question presented in another form. Um, so when we say okay to say the N-word, it's because the N-word, nigger, is not something I hear black people say. Do you hear that word? So the N-word, like you said, no one goes around. No black folks that I know. No black folks. Nigger, folk. please. Yeah, yeah. No that, one says that. That is the, not what they said. That's, yeah. So... To answer your question, I do not feel the the use of the N word is appropriate. I will tell y'all this: I do use it, not like it is not in the uh, a a atmosphere of other colors. Like I don't want people to know or feel like they can say that shit to me. But in the whole trying to change this, how can I say change change? In which the atmosphere that is used. In the monologue. Right. Yeah, that that if a white person called me a nigga, I'm going to go and give them a smooth chance. Like, 
I'm going to walk over there and be like, hey, man, please do not do that. Do not do that. Because I don't want it to be acceptable. Yes. But within my circle of black friends, we might use it. But it's as in a, a use of endearment. Like, it's not going to so, be be like, nigger, why don't you do this, nigger? Like, we just don't use that word. So, so like me, <clears throat> I don't go around using that word. It's rare that I use it. If I use it, you know mm-hmm. I'm fucking pissed to the utmost. Yeah. But I rarely ever use it. However, the reason why we don't want white folks using it, it's just quite it's quite simple. Because it's why don't, they don't feel good using because it. Because we don't know where they're coming from with it. We don't know, <laughs> even though they could be you they can say that they're cool, but we don't know if they're being slick with it like What's up, my nigga? And yeah. in the back of their head, yeah. they're like, fuck you. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's different. So this is why we say, hey, don't use that be- for them. That's like uh, the word the word uh, cracker to a, a white person. Yeah. So, I went- see, so, so he said hard R. So that's what I'm talking about. The hard R. Oh, no we, one says that. We don't say that. Like, when people say... Why do they find it, or why do black people think it's okay to use? Black people do not use the hard R. Like, we do not say that. Yeah, even if... A, I don't know, even old as... Even, even if a black person said that to him, like, I would get pissed, pissed like, off. Like, what? Like, motherfucker, what the fuck you call me? Yeah. Like, bitch, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. Straight up. Yeah, Straight up. You know, there it, it no, don't matter black, no white. hard R We uses. don't use the hard ER. We don't yeah. use the ER. Yeah. Uh, Emergency room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's not a thing. So now the whole which we know the GGA, it's like a, a trying to change something and make it better. Not saying that it was right, but I understand the whole. Hey, let's flip flip this because we've we've done that with other things. We've 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 taken. I mean, now I know that most people might not agree, but we've even done it with fashion clothes with with things that originally were whack we try to flip it so you want to know the beauty of this good question espinoza the the beauty of this is that word was given to us in in hatred complete so you know we took that word like you said we flipped it we flipped it so bad. Now the white folks want to be. Be. They want to like, be like that. Do y'all yeah. see the irony with that? That's what I'm trying to <laughs> say. That's what I'm trying. Bruh, I've seen video, which I will say this. I've never seen live. But I've seen the brown community say nigger because they know the meaning behind it. Yes. It's not good. Like, no, like, I'm just saying even as a black man in America, I do not say nigger. I get like I've never said it outside of trying to explain something or something of that that sort. And then yeah. he asked, "Have you ever used it as a fighting terms?" No, I've never said that's nigger, not even bro. in my vocabulary. No, bro. Hey, nigger, or yeah. that, that just don't that sounds weird as fuck to me. I've I, never I used use it. That. Yeah, yeah. I, I have never said nigger yeah. in any in any way. In I, anyway, whoever, I mean, put somebody out who says that. I, yeah. I, I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't get a, it. Black, I don't hear black. That's folks, a good ass question, though. That's a good, good question. I but don't hear, I don't hear black folks saying it. I don't even hear Hispanics saying it. Nobody, nobody saying. I don't even unless the intent is to make the other person angry or belittle them. I have not seen it. Just nigger be. Be a word of choice. Uh, so the guy Cody, that's who, okay. So another okay. Cody, he just joined in. Oh, nice you know, man. I'm the Ellis guy. Okay. So he said, I "Appreciate the shout out, guys." He said, "Y'all familiar with Doctor Umar Johnson?" Yes. yes, I am. Yes, we are. I am. Yes, we are. <laughs> Deeply, we'll get I into conversation. My, hey, I yeah. do my research. <laughs> we'll get in the. Uh, that that <laughs> level of conversation, which we've <laughs> spoke about before, <laughs> many episodes prior. But yeah, so I'ma just end it with that. Uh, the N G N I G G E R is not a thing. Uh, black people do not use use that word, and if they do, typically I'ma say 
80% of the time they're mixed and they chose the other race. But I, As a, I, I, I don't never, identify okay, with my me, black side. I've never had somebody call me a nigger. You, bro, I've that never, that's literally that's me just, and you both. Me. I've never had somebody call me that. Maybe so, in their head. Possibly in the head. I know they probably call me a bunch of shit. A bunch of shit, but you ain't going to call that to my face. I can guarantee you they done call me a bunch of shit. Yeah. You know, I can see it in their eyes sometimes. But no, nobody's ever called me that. No one. So I can't. I mean, I can speak on it, but folks I know, even when they've gotten mad, I've never heard no one say that. I haven't either. That's what, what shocked so many people. Like, I forget what episode when we were talking about that. Like, I got a lot of comments. Like, you've never had somebody call you the N-word? Like, you ain't never... I'm like, nah, so, bro. See, so that's what I'm getting... I've never heard I guess we Outside of to, videos. We have to elaborate a little bit. Because when we say the N-word, we're saying nigga. Yeah. yeah. N-I-G-G-A. Yeah, 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 yeah. N-I-G-G-A. Hey. We are not saying nigger. Yeah. N-I-G-G-E-R. We are not saying that. And that just doesn't and happen. I don't hang around folks who say that. Now, somebody might say that trying to be funny and slick. You stupid nigga. Yeah, and yeah. And I was like, what the fuck you saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then it's over. Yes, yeah, and they're yeah. doing it intentionally. Yeah, yeah. You know, but not just to be talking. Nah, I don't know. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get uh, down with folks like that. really see it in fighting terms outside of, like I said, in videos. Like, I was, I'll see a, a white uh, group of people maybe about to fight a black group of people, and even then... It's very rare that they're like nigger. Like it's like Sh- shut up, nigger. Like blah, 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 and they about to bang. And at some point, some people around there or some allows that shit. Like and so I don't like all of my white homeboys. They don't say that shit around me. Cause yeah, um, I don't. I don't like it. Period. Yeah, you know. So just don't call me that, or you know, y- you get the first fair warning. Like yo, don't say that around me, man. Which I'm is not, good. Just warn them. I'm not comfortable around that. They say it again, then it's it's full throttle. That's y'all. Like now, I'm now I'm not gonna say that it's to this level, but it's like being around a homosexual and always saying faggot, 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 faggot. It's going to offend them, yeah. even if you're not saying it to them. So that's it's literally the same shit. Like you just don't say shit around people that's going to offend them. Now, when you in your little circle and if your group of Caucasian friends are all cool with saying. Uh, nigger to one of all oh, that nigger and y'all cool with that then that's cool but you gotta still be held accountable when you outside of that so I can let me let me let, let me let me go ahead and retract a little so, bit so hold on wait wait so he said what is the difference bro I don't say beaner to not say beaner or uh or I guess beaner beaner Please. beaner yeah, like to Mexicans, and that's what I'm trying. I don't, I don't trying. even call a Mexican no beaner. I've never said hey, you beaner. What the fuck? I've but, never said that. See, like I understand what he's trying to say, but what I'm trying to to convey is when people take a word and they try to change it. Like, listen, bro. Like it's like a man calling a woman a bitch instead of a woman calling her girlfriend a bitch. They do it all the time. Like, you hear women, hey, bitch, like, blah, 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 and it's cordial. Like, that's how they they talk to one another. I hear it all the time. I still think it's stupid, but yeah. carry on. But, but <laughs> I hear it, yeah. like, all the time. But let a man say, hey, bitch, she going to be like, what? Like, and that's the difference, bro. Like, that's the difference between a community that you aren't a part of. I could see how it's hard to understand. But the problem is, Mexicans, between Mexicans, maybe y'all don't use beaner, but y'all call one another something else. Like, feel me? Like, probably something else that between y'all, y'all can say it. But if someone from outside of your race says it, it's an issue. Like, I don't go around saying fucking cholos and shit like that. Like, like that's not, not me. But I've heard Mexicans say it to another Mexican. You just made me think of food when you said that. Oh, yeah? Ch- chorizo? Ch- oh, oh. oh, maybe I'm just hungry. Hungry, hungry, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sounds like you hungry. But <laughs> but I'm just saying, man, like, like you be hearing that vato and all of that shit. I don't, I don't, see. I, now, I don't see, go up to Mexicans and say that shit. I, I don't play those games, though. 
You know, because I respect everyone. Hey, you know, Mike. There's a, there's a thousand other vocabulary words out there to make up <laughs> than to calling somebody a, a bean or a beaner or a vato. Now, I've said, you know, in, in the back in the days, like, yo, what's up, S.A.? You know, S.A. South American, I guess. I don't say that. I'm saying S.A. Like, I do not say that. I've said that. I do not time. call them S.A. No, no, I don't call them now. But when oh, I was younger. okay. Because that's when I first got to Colorado. That's oh, what they all refer to. Yeah, like okay. L.A. You know. Oh, okay. But I don't. As I grew up, I don't say that stuff. Yeah. Because I got a lot of uh, Mexican friends. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying I'm cool. They some of the coolest. See, Pendejo. That like I've heard them say that to one another. I'm not walking up to a Mexican and saying that. Yeah, I wouldn't walk up to nobody and call them out their name unless I I deliberately want to fight them. Yes. Unless and I deliberately want that smoke. Yeah. And first. But I'm not even saying that. I'm that not even the, saying that in a fight. That's not even my vocabulary. I'm like, I might say, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Because I'm trying like, to get you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I might say. But yeah. I'm not going out. I'm not making this. Because it's not a racial thing if I'm trying to fight you. Yeah, yeah. It's like, not racial, is, whatever. Yeah. It's more or less of you're a dumbass. Yeah, between our disagreement, yeah. let's solve it yeah. physically. You're you're yeah. a dumbass and I want to put them hands on you. Yeah. It has nothing to do with race whatsoever. So so I got a question. Yeah. From, from his question. Okay. Why? And you kind of answered it earlier. But why the hell do they want to say it? Like, because like it's like it's weird to me. Like when they ask, why do black people find it like okay? Why the hell do you want to say it? Because a lot of folks, it's like I said, it's it's the irony, man. Oh, it's the it? monkey see, monkey do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that word, you you use that word for so long. I mean, just not you, your ancestors. Yeah. Your your daddy, your granddaddy, your <laughs> grand, your mom, your grandma, all of them. They use it so much with so much hate, and we flipped it. So now they want to feel cool because Xavier's watching us. Hey, Xavier. Hey, so X. they feel what's up, X? Yeah. They they feel like they're being left out, so they want to be a part of the gang now. You okay. know what I'm saying? And hey, we could be cool, just like if, if there was that a Hispanic, if there was a Hispanic party. And they up in there calling each other all types of crazy names. Crazy names. I ain't gonna come up in the scene talking about, yo, what's up, uh, Chorizo? You know, well, yeah. I'm not saying no shit like that. I'm like, bro, I know my boundaries. I gotta stay in my lane. And that's all. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. I mean, we as humans, we gotta learn to respect each other. You know, yeah, we got we got a history in our past, and black folks, we're still going through it. Hispanics are still going through it, but. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're a white individual, if you're an Anglo-Saxon or a European of descent, uh-huh. you need to recognize this situation, the scenario, and be and have more empathy. What's going on? But they don't want to, bro. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's not that we're blaming you for the slavery, but we're like you're benefiting off of so it right now. Jamon said it is the appropriation of culture. That's the facts. That's just what it is. Like we could say nigga and and keep it and keep it moving, but even within our own culture, we don't use nigger. Like, yeah, that's that's just dumb to me. I it don't, just I don't see. ain't a thing. But he did say earlier that in Mexico that they have some crazy ass little comic book called something, and it's like like super racist as fuck. Like the actual comic book, and they're like okay with it. I guess yeah. that shit is nuts. Okay, now, I'm not with that shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, like he said, you guys. There's a comic book in Mexico called Mimi. It's M E M I N Penguin. It's racist as fuck. Mimi Penguin? Yeah, like something like that. You gonna make me go Google that just, <laughs> just to read it. Yeah. Say, so what is it again? M? Suburban America. Oh, so what is that? M E M Penguin? Yeah, M E M I N, then uh, Penguin. It's P I N G U I N. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, like, there's all kind of different shit, but I just wanted to bring bring them fucking idiots up, cause the Harsh Twins. I'm yeah, I'm gonna just be honest. Like, I'm done with those three. Like, those clips was enough. Those videos, um, they're complete. Well, I would consider them white, like all the way right. Like the way that they were talking, belittling this dude, like talking about, oh, well, your dad's this and your mom black. 
So what, bro? That don't mean nothing. Yeah, but it's what do society see him as? So it's the same thing that um. I don't know. I don't what's know. that lady name? Uh, I think it was no, not Laura Engel. What's the other blonde head that I always be talking shit? Tommy. Uh, Tommy. Tommy Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. So she was bashing Colin Kaepernick, saying that. He's fighting for an injustice, but he benefit off because his mom, mom is white. white. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, is this where we're going here? This is where our education brought us with this? No, it's that they choose to do that, bro. Like, they they know the real, bro. Yeah, it's just, it's just some people eat this crap up. Yeah. <laughs> Negro. Negro. Mike has said Negro. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought he was gonna say was the magazine El Negro. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> the comic book. <laughs> yeah, we are uh, going to Google that shit. <laughs> we are. So, quick, um, you saw the Colorado Prep hit us with the New Balance. Woo! Did you witness? Yes, I did. Did you witness? I so, think. do you got questions? I have questions. Because that's what I got. But I got a bunch of questions. I got to talk straight to X with this. Oh, yeah? He needs to come back on the show, man. Yeah. He can't be dropping these uh, motherfucking bombs out here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, funk flex bombs. Yeah. And then just leave us hanging out here with all these questions. Y'all know, like, so what got me is people start sending me questions. Like, do y'all know this or do? I'm like, no. Like, I see what you see. Yes. Feel me? But they think we're like, like we super got insiders. Super insider. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like we like super insiders. So I was just like, look, man. I just saw where y'all. Was. Matter of fact, my kids showed it to me. Yeah. Like they're like, Dad, look. And then I instantly said, what the claws? Because I had the clown. Like, I was like, <laughs> Kawhi. Like, oh shit. Because I'm a Lego fan. So, y'all see what it is. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see what it is. Straight up Laker fan, right? So I was, so I was kind of like, mm, what's the extent of this sponsorship? Asking all these questions. Right. Asking all these questions. <laughs> so I, so I was trying to look it up to see things, but I didn't see much, man. I didn't find right. none. Well, you so know. I feel like, like you said. We either got to get him back on a show or on the phone or something. Xavier Silas. Yeah. We need you front and center, sir. Front and center. I mean, because he's making moves. Oh, oh, he's making incredible moves. I love it. And I saw my man on TBT playing maximum defense. <laughs> maximum defense. Like I'm like, is he going to die? <laughs> is is he gonna die for the team? Hey man, he was getting it in. Bro, he was getting it in, bro. <laughs> like I was like, is my man trying to guard all ninety? Like, come on, bro, all ninety. I'm like, bro, hey, that takes a lot of dedication, man. bro. And then he had the claws on, bro. I saw the New Balance on his feet. I saw no, it. Don't tell me he did. He did it. He had the freshies hey, on man, his feet. Hey man, we gonna. Have, I gotta. I, we gotta pull that up. Yeah. Take a screenshot. Throw it out there. Yeah, bruh. Now, I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it, bruh. And so, I was really happy, bro. And then, I low-key saw you up on the bench, X, with a Colorado Prep shirt on. That's Black what and about. white. I saw it. I saw it. So, so, I see what he doing, bro. He making moves, bro. Big ones. So, so, I was like, Damn, Xavier Solis, the way, the way that you move is real smooth. I like it, man. Subtle. It was subtle, but it was smooth. So I wonder, like, what's his level of investments? Like, outside of New Balance, is it just the new shoes? Is it the jersey? Or is their name going up on a building, on a facility? Like, I got a lot of questions. Okay. Yeah. But that's about it. Like, that's all that I really have for the Colorado Prep news. Uh, nothing nothing really solid for me to deliver outside of the huge sponsorship. Huge. So. Uh, I, 
So that's the the that's the bulk of what I got for that. The bulk of it? Yeah. Next one. I want to talk about the little that we know about the NBA bubble, bro. Ooh, good topic. About the NBA bubble. I saw that the NBA told JR to stop going live, that he was exposing too much. I was like, what? They told him, I didn't see that part. Yes, they told him, shut your shit down. I was watching. Told him, shut it down. The NBA said, shut it down. And he hit him just like this. He was like, my bad, my bad, my bad. And he had to turn it off. I didn't see nothing cringeworthy like the WNBA. Uh, for the most part, like we know, if if you were one of the top, what, four teams in your conference, you're staying in like the top resort there. Then the next one, y'all are in a little lower level. Then the ones clinging on to that eighth through 10th, 11th seat fighting for the A seat, you're pretty much in the Bronx. And I got much respect for my man, John Morant. I love what you said. He said, my room is fine. No silver spoon. That's what my man said. Like He's like, I wasn't brought up with no silver spoon. Man, yeah. now I'm here to play ball. <laughs> Bro, that, that was huge. That that was huge. And I was wanting to get on your head because I ain't heard nothing from Zion. And knowing him, and now knowing... You, you didn't hear anything from Knowing him. all the money that he took in college, so he's a cheater. You, uh, that he, wow. he done probably found somewhere to stay in wow. in the top so you resort. Haven't, you haven't heard anything <laughs> negative about Zion. He hasn't complained. He hasn't complained, but he hasn't came forth to support the NBA and their decision of playing in the bubble. He probably don't care. He's like, I'm gonna play. You can't think for him. I'm not but going. You just, but I'm. You just I'm not. No. You just. What I said him. is what he hasn't hasn't done. Yeah, and I'm saying that he most likely don't care if he hasn't. See, see, there you go. You're speaking for him. I'm not gonna let you do that. And yet, hold on. Espinosa, you and your goddamn gold spurs, get on with that shit. But Mike can handle it. Mike said, it's all about the Lakers. Yes, sir. So, it looked like they got everything there. Yeah. Looked like from what I, I heard from the Lakers resort, from their hotel where they're at, food spectacular. Boy, they got all kind of steak, shrimp. Everything, cheesecake, you name it. They eating good. What I want to hear is from Jaws menu, bro. That I want to know what the low level shit is eating. Spam, ramen noodles. Yeah, ramen noodles on plastic plates. Yep, they'll be cramping up in the first quarter. That's not a good, good thing. That's just not. So I'm gonna flip the switch to the WNBA. They're down there too. I don't think they're in the same place. But, bruh, they got rooms with mousetraps in the room. They walked in and took pictures of mousetraps. It's in Orlando, right? Now, I don't think the women are there, too. Like, they're somewhere different. But it's in Florida, like, close by. I don't think they're in the bubble. Yeah, yeah. Damn right. That's like gross. that's pretty bad. And they already had like I think that someone found evidence of bed bugs, like already. Is that not tough or what, bro? Dope, they're at IMG. The one of the top prep schools in the country. In the country. Damn. They're at IMG. That's bad. So now we know students at IMG is living real nasty. Getting a pretty decent education, but you're living nasty. So I don't know, man. Like this whole bubble thing, I'm eager for the games. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm eager for the games. Um, like I told you episodes ago, I'm dedicated to the league. I'm dedicated to the games. Black Lives Matter shouldn't stop because basketball games are going on. That's how I feel about that. Okay. Yeah. 
How do you feel? So this whole bubble thing. Yeah. It's been. What? I mean, I, I don't like how they, <laughs> when he was taking the pictures, them kissing their kids and all. Like yeah. Like headed off the war or some shit like that. Because you're not. I was like, okay, y'all doing too much here. Way too much. Y'all, One day, bro. Y'all about to go play some basketball. Something that y'all love. Yeah, yeah. And that you get pay handsomely well for it. Yes. So it's like, stop all the drama shit. Yes. Yeah. Just, just go and play. Yes. Hoes, Damien Litter kisses his kid and and whoever else was out there too. He, he's saying goodbye to him. Please stop. I don't want to watch a soap opera. Exactly. Bro, you're going to go hoop. Yeah, you're going to go hoop. You're going to go hoop. He'll be back. You ain't leaving the country. Y'all leave the country probably every summer. You're not even leaving the country. Stop. Please stop it. It's a hotel resort, y'all. Where are they at? Walt Disney? Somewhere down there. Something great? I'm not exactly sure. Somewhere. So? <laughs> you know, the WNBA has it much worse. But, guys, let's just get ready for basketball. Let's just get ready for basketball. That's how I'm feeling. So, how do I want to hit this, man? Let's end this one with the... We got about 20 minutes, well, 19 minutes. Okay. Will and Jada. Oh, do we want to do that Will, now? Yes. 20 minutes worth. All right. All right. 20 minutes worth of Will and Jada. Okay. Everybody saw it, man. Everybody saw Entanglement. Everybody saw it. Entanglement. Okay. I'm going to open it up like this. That woman said a week ago, No. I wasn't in a relationship with August. That's what she said. She was not in a relationship with August. Know what? She lied. She lied on August. She lied on their relationship or entanglement, whatever that bullshit is. Because what I like is how Will Smith corrected her ass and he was like, relationship, right? And she's like, no, entanglement, relationship. So, she lied. Black Twitter, y'all murdered that man. Killed him. August. Murdered him. Murdered him. I mean, went in on him. Only part I agree with was him being sprung. That was way too much. The whole interview crying to old girl. Like, come on, bro. Like, you ain't with her now. And you ain't got over it by now. By now? Like, just bringing up the conversation make you cry? Like, bruh, I can't even impersonate the way he was talking because it was bothering me. Like, my man was talking like in a box or some shit. I was like, come on, man. And Will, I knew the internet was going to kill you. They've taken your, I mean, you're pretty much the Michael Jordan cry face now. Like, you're that that level. That's sad, though. It's sad. But I'm going to just say this. All you women that were talking all that shit about August, now y'all just look stupid. They look dumb, bro. Super Bowl dumb. Super Bowl. Like, championship dumb. Because everything he said was facts. Now, what I did like was how Will said when he first met August, the man was ill. He was like, my man was sick. Real sick. I don't know what he meant health-wise, like physically or what. I don't know. But all I know is Will said he was sick. And Jada probably felt like mama had to take care of him in multitude of ways. But she is a liar. And I just don't understand why. Black Twitter ain't killing her. Nah, because they're always talking about, oh, uh, you know, woman power, sis, you're a goddess, all that bull crap. Yeah. You know, when you're wrong. I, I call it bull crap when you're wrong. Yeah. You know, and like I said, men, you know, they hold each other more accountable than females. We said that two yes. episodes ago. Two I, or, two I said it, ago. and then... Somebody came on thinking that we were bashing women when we weren't. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. But yes. we respect the call. We fully listen to the entirety of her 
perspective. Yes. And the whole, which I will say this, she did admit that she missed some of it. She she actually did, but yeah. at some point she felt like at some point in which she started watching, we was woman bashing. Yeah, and we weren't doing that. And we wasn't doing that. We were that. coming from all different angles. Literally every single one possible. Yes. And I, I hope she watches this because I want her to realize now you look stupid. Yes. Now you look absolutely stupid. If her pussy was so powerful, Will wouldn't have said, I'm fucking done with you. That's what he said. I was done with you. And we kind of split, went our own ways. I still, but I, I still feel like, all right, yeah, uh, Jada lied. Hey, Jody. She lied, and, you know, no one's putting her on blast because she's a female. That bothers me. It, it does. Straight up. But I don't know, man. And it, I know everyone talks about they had an open relationship, but I saw the pain in his eyes. How is that open? Like, if y'all separated. Like, what's open about that? Yeah. Like, like, so, so... Uh, so Espinosa said Jada is a swinger. I'm not one for the uh, TMZ shit. Um, so I don't know. Like she could be a swinger, but to me, when someone separates and get with someone else, that's not swinging. Not yeah, to me. Now I'm going off of the interview they had at her red table. That's what she called it. We got table talk, and she got the red table. So, like I said, it's it's a touchy thing for me. I just. This this is sad because you don't want no. I mean, they've been going through that's their, their life, of course. But how far gone are they? That's what I'm saying. Now I don't even think they like that no more. Like I think they end up splitting, finding out. You know what? I'm not really willing to start over. I think we could come back and make this work. And yeah. that's where they at right now. That's where they at right at this moment. At least. Now, I'm going off of what they say because I'm not into their life. I'm not one of them uh, paparazzi chasers, like all that shit. Like, I'm not going to dig into people's life. If you want to be an open relationship, that's cool. If y'all swinging, that's cool. If y'all y'all just have people that come in the house, y'all smash and they leave, I don't care. But what I'm just talking about is what is the facts. And what I'm saying is, even like Will saw it, it was a relationship. Yeah. She says entanglement. Of course, the world took that word and ran with it. Like, y'all niggas' vocabs are low as fuck. But whatever. And it's like a big thing now. Like, it's humor. Like, it's more funny. And I feel this way. Even though it's not to that level. But it's like when a woman calls rape, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Like, and it starts from a low level like this. Mm -hmm. Right? The man said, I was in a relationship with her. She said, no. The whole world bashes him. Yes. Now, she admits it. No one tells her shit. No. One Matter of fact, what people do is they start making fun of Will. That's that's what's bothering me, y'all. Like, to be on a serious tip, that's what bothers me, bro. That is what bothers me. Like, people should be clowning her. Why are you clowning Will? Yeah. Like, this is the part that I don't get. No matter, in this whole little thing that goes on, nothing bad happens to her. Like, nobody's like, what the fuck? Like, so you try to help this dude out through his health or whatever kind of sickness, and then you start fucking him? Yeah, that don't sound right. Yeah, and now, he's way younger than you. So he's basically a child. Like, you're in your full cougar mode, manipulating him in multiple ways. Yeah, but. Nice. We bash the man. That's what I'm saying. So, and it's funny because they bash both men. Yeah. They, See, like, Kid Folk Mike said, she was wrong on so many levels. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel, bro. That's that's so exactly. They bash the man for speaking up, for saying something because he was like. For just saying. Say, even yeah. men. Yes. Men, men clowned him. Men was like, oh, that nigga talking too much. I'm yeah. like. They what? bash him. And then when she came out and admitted it, everything was true. <laughs> then So then they bash Will. Will. Yes. Now you understand. That's where I'm coming from on this situation. I don't know the whole thing. I'm just talking about from the outside looking in. I watched the same interview that everybody else did. 
both of them. I watched August do his, have his hair looking all weird, semi crying, talking to an old girl from Breakfast Club. Then I watched her and Will sitting at the table. And what I could conclude from that is simple shit. Jada, you lied, and one man's hurt, and the other one still look hurt. Will, like, yeah. that's all See, that came from. And niggas clown the men. They clown them. So that's what bothered me. I mean, that's what I just, I don't know. I had some type of empathy for him. This man, this man. Espinosa wants the viewers to know Cougars rock. He loves him some Cougars. That's great. That's funny. That is fucking hilarious. Yeah. I uh, Cougars, I guess they're not bad, but I just don't want to look at a woman that l could be my mother. But that's just little old me. Yeah, that's it's not good. But, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? <laughs> right? I mean... Yeah. I mean, everybody needs loving, I guess. I don't know. That's really sad how they just all blamed, everyone blamed the men. Everybody. And that's how I, that's how I view it. And even today, bro, like a woman could do some fucked up shit and it could be 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. But you know what niggas are going to bring up? The one time that man fucked up. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what is going to get brought up, bro. That's what's going to get brought up every every time, and I'm just done, bro. Like See, I'm gonna just keep it on it. I'm over that shit. I bro. wouldn't. Have, I don't want to blast Jada. I don't want to blast August, or and I don't want to blast Will. That's that's because what I'm saying. Just let like, it. Just let just it be. Let, let it be. Yeah, just but let it be. The way they went in on it, it was. Like, I just damn. want my man August to get an apology, bro. From first off, from her ass, because. We all saw it. She publicly was like, no. I could bring it up. She was like, no. We wasn't in no relationship. So, Jada, so what do you call that? Just going yeah. around fucking. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm pretty sure that you don't want your daughter doing it. I'm positive. I'm positive. You, you, as much as she, her, her mom, her and her daughter have that little show or right, they be on there talking Ain't nothing that to me that I've heard on there. Have she ever told her daughter just go get get loose, just just thought it up? No, don't nobody want their kid to do that, man. Nobody. And if they are, you want them to be in a relationship, be with one person. At least you would hope, right? Yeah, right. I mean, that's just my view on that whole shit. Is that society still carries this. If a man do something, he a dog. He fucked up. But don't let him cry, cause now he a bitch. He's emotional. Yeah. Like, like, like everything is bad. Like every every part of it. He said, the old. He said, old. I love some old pussy. Wow. Okay. 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 That's that's definitely next level. That's definitely next next level. <laughs> Espinosa is definitely next oh, next level. Good comment. Great comment, man. <laughs> but okay. I mean it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, but I just we love having women come on the show or we try to convince them to for not only ourselves, but to get a woman's perspective on the issues and the, uh, just different subjects that we come up with. Next week, we will have one. We will. We will have a woman on here. We, 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 we got someone that's ready for the heat, man. That's ready for the heat. Like, she literally sent me a video saying she's ready for the heat. I'm going to show you the video. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. And, uh, and, and it's great because... We're going to be talking some real shit. And we welcome you. Yeah. 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 And we expect real answers. But to all our women viewers and callers, continue to call, comment, do, yes, do, do. all that. But please have an open mind, man. See things from both sides. Like, and don't just regurgitate your damn history. 
that's bullshit because that's your life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's your life. Like that's not everyone else's. Like I know plenty of women that don't think like some of the women who call us. I know plenty of women that I literally will say, hey, this woman called in or this woman come in at this. Do you agree? And she's like, hell no. And I'm like, see, you need to be on the show. Yeah. You need to be on the show. So that way everyone gets to see, hey, not all women think alike. Man, that's, look, bro. That's I, why had, I love when the women come in. Yeah. Because <laughs> they say a show is not uh, a show until you get a, a controversial comment from a woman. Yes. Yeah, right? So. Yeah. And, you got one. <laughs> yes. And it's going to be great. It is, I mean, what we will uh, be talking about, I'm going to tell y'all this. It, it was her choice. She wanted to bring that up. I was like, dang. We try to stay away from that one. All the time. Hard. I don't want no smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we try to actually stay away from this one. But, uh, yeah, uh, she want to. Like she said, she bringing everything. Bring your book. Bring this. Bring your Bible. I was like, what? Like she was like, I'm bringing that heat. I was like, okay. So, you know, Will and Jada, man, their situation is weird. It's nothing uncommon, y'all, like, in life. I mean, of course, them being celebrities boost it up and make it some world news. But I just felt bad for August, him speaking the truth and everybody, because she said no, instantly going with, you're a liar. You're just sick in the head. That was bullshit, bro. That was bullshit. And I did not like that, bro. I didn't. And I'm going to continue to be an advocate for men. Men men have mental health issues and they can be attached to a woman. woman like women can be attached to men. Ain't nobody overpowering nobody because of their private part. That's the, yeah, that's, dumbest, that's the dumbest shit, shit ever. I've heard. Like, I'm sorry, but if you called in or come in and you really feel that way that's cool but i'm gonna be a good host and i'm gonna listen yeah but that you you're you have to do a lot to convince me of that shit of See, that shit and, and i we speak on it but i try not to be biased yeah and i listen to everything but what kills me is that that people think that that men don't have I guess emotions or feelings as well. Yeah, which like, is like we just stone and we don't have we don't deal with our issues, but we deal with our issues in a in a different type of way. And inside hey, Can you we, elaborate? Because we, that's what I was about to say. We we hold our stuff inside so much and it's like it builds up. But women they're more a lot of them are more vocal with it and then the little sting, they blow it up out of proportion. Yeah. But men, we hold it and hold it because we were taught to, you know, to basically hold your hold your feelings in. Don't don't show it to the world because once you show it to the world, you're considered weak. You know. So I don't know. It's just I I want folks when they're talking about whether it's men or women. They see both sides and they open up to see everything. That's all that I want. Be one sided, bro. That's you know? all that I want. That's all that I want. Like you got uh, women that's out there. We hear it all the time. Equal rights, equal this, equal that. Basically, for you people who don't understand, that's all that Black Lives Matter wants is equality. equality it has it. has nothing to do with hey a white cop beating up a black black man it's cops in general it has like you got all these people that's out there with podcasts and doing the same things that we're doing voicing their views with people watching they have viewers and people that support them but they're supporting what they don't understand is people watch you because they feel the same way not because you're good half half the fucking time or we wouldn't be doing this like me and you do it because we enjoy this like this yeah. is fun this is so fun. So half the people that's watching us is probably laughing like, man, like these dudes are some fools, man. But that's cool because we don't care. I'm not doing this strictly for 400, 5,000 views or shares. That's not why I'm doing this. Like if that happened, cool. But I'm just doing this because I enjoy it. But you got people that's out there that will say spit ridiculous rhetoric. 
I mean, yeah. ridiculous shit. And you know now, I went in the comments and I see, oh, like these people that follow you, they're the people that are just just as fucked up. You're just as fucked just, up. Just as fucked up. Like, it's not like you really have like a support group of people like, dang, like this dude is like a prophet. He dropping knowledge. No, you're just regurgitating the shit that's in their head that they're afraid to say. And, and they that don't, they're they afraid don't respond. to say. They don't respond to the opposition. Exactly. So they just sit behind and watch someone else say how they feel. Yeah. Feel me? When y'all, we all have voices. At least most of us, those of us that are blessed with a tongue, a mouth, and can speak, y'all do it. Like, because I like hearing different people's views, bro. That's 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 the joy of the debate. <laughs> like, let me see where you're coming from. Because I'm going to try to win. Just like you. Feel me? Always. Always. But, you know, women, men have feelings, bro. Men have feelings. And it start even when they boys. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to be the one that when my son, he grab a dress at three years old to be like, no, well, let him wear it. No. like I'm like, son, that doesn't belong on you. Son, that doesn't belong on you. He's three. He's three. So, if my son cries about it, then I'm like, shit, cry. Now, I'm not going to go punch him like be like, boys don't fucking cry. Yeah. That like, that's sense. bullshit, bro. Like, look, man, like some boys cry. But like he said, w most time when a man cry, he going to do it by himself. Yeah. He ain't going to be with a big group needing a shoulder to lean on. Like, we know how you women work. Y'all go and recruit. Hey, if if the homegirl show up at your house crying, she calling all the other homegirls. Hey, all of y'all come and support. Because no matter what's going on, she's right and he's wrong. Always. Always. And the weird thing is I knew one girl that wasn't like that. Like, she would tell her friend straight up, be like, look, bitch, uh, you kind of tripping. And they, like, booted her. Wow. And they, like, booted her, bro. Booted her. <laughs> And she told me, this is why I get along better with dudes. Because I'm not like them. Like, all this crying and wanting to, like, tell her, girl, it's going to be all right. You fucked up. Like, and I'm going to tell you. You fucked up. But she said that when a homegirl right, she tell her that too. Like, oh, yeah, he is wrong for that. But when she wrong, she's, she's just more typical or... Uh, or she leans more with, hey, wrong is wrong, right is right. Just, it, so, it doesn't matter so what gender. I, I got I got dang, I got a question. So what happens in a relationship if one feels like, one party feels like the other's wrong, vice versa or whatnot, and then the other party is just like, look, I just, I'm just tired of arguing. I apologize. I'll change for the, for the best. Yeah. But even if you don't think that you're doing something wrong. Yeah. And you still try to change. And all the other party does is say, "Well, you're 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 in denial." It's like, but that person just told you that they'll change for the best. Oh, like is this person crazy? When when does the I'm saying <laughs> when do we as people like you ask for change and then it, the person agrees, agrees and you still argue? Like, does that make sense? And you want to argue? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't make sense. That um, so it, it sounds. Sounds almost far fetched, but if a person is just looking for a reason to so, well, to escape or so I say that because let's say, you know, the white folks and black folks. Yeah. If white folks came up and said, Hey, we're sorry, we want to change, isn't it the black folks' duty to say Okay. Okay, I accept that and let's yes. move forward. If they're everyone's moving in the right direction, yes. do you keep do black folks keep holding it against They folks? shouldn't. That, and that's, see, that's, that's the shouldn't. part that I, I, I'm, like, stuck with. Like, if folks are trying to apologize and say, hey, okay, even though I don't feel like I was totally wrong, wrong but, but I want us to be friends and get along, I want us to be a great society. Yeah. So they're like, hey, we will do this so we don't offend you. You know, we that's will do awesome. this right here. Yeah. So why, why are black folks still... Not saying that it's happening yeah, yeah. now, because there are some white folks that that try, mm -hmm. and some black folks that are just stubborn, just like no fuck you. Yeah, 
Look, man, uh, I now I like to equate this to, uh, now this is fucked up, but I'm going to say it. It's almost like the battered woman syndrome. Yeah. Literally, like, like it's just like, you know, she's getting beat on, beat on, beat on, but she sticks around. Black that black person been beat on, beat on, beat on like so much that they just st- stay with that same mindset. Like they're like, no, like no matter fucking what. Like and you're like, we gotta move on. Yeah, we gotta move we, on. We gotta Some, move on. I'm, something has to change. Something is changing, and yeah. you're still not trying to, to yeah to realize the change is happening. Yeah. You're trying to keep that person in that state, in that same. So, and this is yeah. why I say with a lot of with a lot of black folks, they be like, they be like, well. You know they're trying on this part right here. Yeah. Oh fuck that! Yep, they they were wrong. This and that. I'm like, yes, they were. They wrong, were good. But good. I like that. To change. I like that. Like they're trying to move on and make our society better. So you can't shut them down. So the reason why I say that because we has I had a, a a white individual, a friend of mine. He says, he the question was, how what do a white person who really cares that's trying to help. When do they have a say in it, like trying to make it better? Yeah. Or because then all they hear is, "Oh, you're white. You don't get to talk on this." Yeah. And which I don't is, think that's fair. Which is not fair. Bro. I don't that's, think that's fair because if somebody's right. trying to help out or trying to change the culture the way it yeah. is, we can't just keep shutting folks down. We're not going to get anywhere. You aren't like, and that's the well with life, bro. I mean. That's the same mindset of these black people like, well, y'all remember, man, it was the Democrats like, that was holding y'all in slavery. Motherfucking shit changed. Shit changed. Shit, yeah. like, like, damn. So like, when people bring that up, that just tells me they're dumb yeah. or they're just clearly trying to lie to you. Bruh, it, because it's just, I had a black, bodies have changed. Listen to this. So, I love that we do this. So I was out, I was, dang, like, I really can't say where I was at. But maybe it was a installation. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, so I was there. And somebody noticed. Like They were like, hey, two black guys. I was like, oh, <laughs> man. Dope. Right? Someone I didn't know. I did not know him. I was like, wow. Cool. And he was like, you know, they was funny that y'all were talking about politics the other day. Blah, blah, blah. That's the episode that I saw. I kind of forgot. What the hell that I said, but whatever. So I was like, yeah, yeah, and he, and he was like, well, y'all do know that it was the Republicans that freed freed the slaves, right? I said, yeah, and it's the Republicans that would want to go back right now. <laughs> now I said that jokingly, like that was a joke, but I was like, that's not because this is what kills me. So when you're in the military, black guy, everybody feels that you're a Republican. Like they instantly are like, they're the ones that 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 support the military, don't want to make it smaller, blah blah blah, right? Yeah. And I'm not, but he didn't know I'm not a Democrat either. So I think he looked at the color of my skin just... and instantly was like, he's a Democrat. I'm independent. I'm not loyal to neither party. I wish the world would go that that way because. You got loyalty to these parties that really neither one don't give a damn about you. Um, And people end up fighting for them, making signs, raising money, and hearing all these lies. Oh, man, the money is going to go to this this for the... No, man, that money is going to somebody's pockets. Let's just keep it hunted. Let's just be real. But whatever. So... I told him, well, that was cool, man, but times have changed. Time point, change. point blank. I, like, I'm not a far right, but I'm not a far left. And it was just a funny thing to him. to For me to be sitting there thinking like, damn. Like, it's those people that stuck up in that mode, bro. Like, there's humans that just get stuck in a mode and they stay there. No matter what, bro, you cannot change them. You cannot change them. So, that's... That's all that I have, bro. That's all I have now, too. Really? Yeah. All right. Two Two black black guys. guys. Red table talk. We out. Peace.